Okay, so let's look at another example of PLA. So it is given to you realize function f1, f2, and f3. These are a b plus c d, a bar b plus a b bar, a d plus b c plus b bar d. At three functions you have to realize, and you are not given with any PLA. So you are given uh, the choice. You can use whatever PLA size, whatever size of PLA you want. So looking at the functions, I can see that. I need three output, right? F1, F2, F3. I need four inputs because A, B, C, D are there, right? You can see A, B, C here, D is there, B is there, C is there, A is there. Four, four input. So that is, I am sure, I need four input and three output. PLA. How many n terms I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So I can design th this over <coughs> this whole three functions just by using a single four cross seven cross three PLA. Okay. So you are not given the PLA. You decided you can use any of any size of PLA. You saw that th three functions and you decided how many input output are required and the AND gates. And based on that, you you chose a PLA. Okay. So that same thing I made here. So four input variables three output variables and one two three four five six seven seven and gates okay hopefully you are able to see <clears throat> now i'll just mark the min terms uh, so you can see so for function f1 we need a b and c d right so a uh, let me make like this so we want a b right from here and then from the second a and gate i'll take c d okay c and d then this guy will give you f1 okay right we got f1 oops let me make the lines first Okay, so now we want to mark the crosses. So here you can see we have a b and c d. So a b plus c d will be f one. Now we want a bar b plus a b bar. So a bar b and from the next one a b bar a b bar. So from here you will get what? You will get f two. Right. Then you need three terms A D B C and B bar D. So here A, and then from here D, and then B C we want. So B C, and finally you want B bar D. B bar D. Okay. So this guys will give you the last three. Will give you F three. So you can see the distribution. Uh, it is uh, not equally given. Uh, not all the AND gates are given equally. Plus, as well as you can see, uh, you don't have to generate all the min terms. You can see um, if you were using PAL, <coughs> PAL. If you were using, then you need to have AND gates according to the maximum min terms, right? The function who is having maximum min terms. Uh, that is three here. That many AND gates you have to allot to each function, right? So three means three, three and three. Total nine you would have needed in case of P A L. But here you are using only seven. So you can see the change, right? Uh, the benefit. Similarly, if you would have been using P R O M prom, because of the four variables. You would have sixteen combinations, means sixteen AND gates you would have generated. Okay, you needed uh, in prom. Whether you, these guys are using those AND gates or not, but you had to generate all of them, right? But here you are only using seven. So in both compared to PROM and PAL, you can see there is a uh, reduction in AND gates. So that's the benefit, and you—it's much more flexible. You can choose this side as well and this side as well. 
so that's how you are designing the functions uh, f1 f2 and f3 so you have you have programmed the end gate you have also programmed the uh, 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 or gate 